So uh, my study pre uh, focused on relapse refractory AML who were FLT3 mutated. Uh, we uh, looked at the patients uh, who received gelatinib based therapy uh, from 2017 to 24 and there were 69 such patients and amongst these 69 patients we there were 47 patients who received gelatinib monotherapy and 22 patients who received the gelatinib combination therapy. The combination therapy included gelatinib plus vanitoclax, gelatinib plus vanitoclax plus azacitidine and gelatinib plus azacitidine and uh, after a median follow-up of 34 months, what we found was that the gelatinib combination therapy resulted in a median OS of 24 months in comparison to gelatinib monotherapy which had a median OS of 9 months. We looked at uh, factors which were predicting the survival. The strongest factor was transplant and achievement of CR and we found that the achievement of CR was strongly predicted by the type of therapy uh, and the gelatinib combination was resulting in more CR. So in short, what, what my study says is that in relapse refractory FLT3 mutated AML, use of gelatinib combination therapy will be able to achieve CR in more frequency than uh, gelatinib monotherapy and hence will be eligible for transplant. So the gelatinib combination therapy is, the, is a better bridge to transplant than uh, monotherapy and uh, uh, and uh, and yeah